Right, welcome to part two. Remember in the last one where I was thinking these showers held some relevance to opening a door? Uh, yeah, well, I've just spent about four days fucking about with shower dials and apparently it doesn't mean shit. Uh, remember the axe from part one where I thought, yeah, oh yeah, you're going to need an axe to cut down these fucking boards. Even though it looks like I could just headbutt them and they'd fall off, but no. Uh, from doing a bit of research, I found that I can use a mattress, a fucking mattress, to completely annihilate all those uh, wooden boards. Uh, you see, I was really enjoying it, but that was just so illogical that I had to go online and look what the hell was going on, because I, I couldn't proceed. Why the fuck? Why the fuckity fuck would you throw a mattress at a boarded up doorway? Ah, it hurts me. Stop it. Don't do that. Alright, so, here we go. I might have to kill this video if it just comes up with a ridiculous puzzle like that again. I mean, it's, you know, it's not a puzzle. It's just completely illogical. Why the fuck would I have to get a mattress from there to break down wooden panels? When the game showed us, the modder showed us an axe down at the bottom of that corridor. I mean, it, that's just... It's shit. It's shit, that's what it is. Let's go through this door, even though I'm on it. The judge was... He's good at what he's doing with this, uh, with... Whoa, 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 with this mod. But it would be nice if, uh... You know, the, uh, the text and, uh, the notes were more comprehensive, you could understand them. And, by the way, this is pretty cool. Although, it, you know, it looks like something that was made about 20 years ago. But it's an outside segment of Amnesia, which you, you do actually get one little bit in Amnesia where you jump out of a window, crawl along a ledge, jump back in, and there's just a couple of trees at the bottom, so it's not really uh, an outdoor segment. So at least this guy's trying something different, you know. Um, right, this looks like a completely modern setting. Looks like a, you know, tenement blocks, apartment blocks. And I suppose, yeah, this is because we, we were in a nut house that looked, you know, pretty much present day. I'm actually getting frame rate issues. He's, uh, he's pulling a bit of graphic power here. And his music's turned all funky. Good son. And there's them same doors from Amnesia. Oh, what the fuck. Yeah, now. That's it. I'm stuck again. What do I need to get in there? What do I need to get in that door? <laughs> you know, you've got... <laughs> it's like... Uh, a, you know, a set of flats, apartments that you see in any current city. And then you get this old door from the 14th century. It doesn't really fit. Unless there's something in there that's going to get creepy, but how the fuck uh, do I get in there? And the music's turned all weird and like Japanese. <laughs> and I've lost my screwdriver, so I must have missed an opportunity with that. I mean. How the fucking hell do we get through that door? I'm gonna have to go back. I must have missed something. Maybe that's the shower. I just want to double check. There's nothing around here. That, um... Ah, what's that? See, he is hiding stuff. Battery. Fuck your battery. I'm cheating. Don't need batteries. Am I still cheating? <laughs> yeah, we are. There's another battery in it. Right? 
Right, so you got your batteries, okay. Oh, well that's a bit shit, I was hoping to uh, progress this a bit further, get some more scares. But not only is there no scares, it's uh, the music is completely inappropriate for a horror game. Right, okay, so we can't get in you. It doesn't even say if it's jammed or needs a key. He's forgot to put the type in there. It's meant to come in the middle of the screen when you can't do something. Do I need a key? Do I need to unjam it? Is the lock rusty? Is oh. See, this is the thing with mods. I mean, that doesn't help. Normally in amnesia you get to a locked door and it'll state what it needs. Does it need a key? Is the lock rusty and needs uh, just something to smack it with? But this looks like uh, there's fuck all I can do now. I'm gonna have to go back in, which I'm sorry about. This is a bit of bit of a waste of video. Oh shit! Is that a glitch? Normally when you get a little image, that means I can go through that door. All I can hear is a door opening noise and I can't actually go through that. I can't turn the handle. So whatever I need to do, presumably, as long as the game hasn't glitched, which I think it has, because I should be able to get back through that door. Um. Oh, what a ball like. I uh, am absolutely stuck. And I mean I'm absolutely stuck. And these rain effects, even though they're pathetic, are really messing with my frame rate as well. 40 frames a second. Jesus! Oh, so annoying. I think the game's glitched. I think it's crashed. It's not crashed, it's glitched. That I should be able to. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. The door hasn't got a message on it saying what I need to do. So, you know, I'm going to leave this in the video because these modders, you know, fair enough if you do it right, but if, you, if your game glitches out, then. Hang on. Well, people need to know about it. Right, you've put bags in there, fair enough. Is there anything underneath? Is there anything underneath? Is there fuck? Right, so... Basically, for this ten minute little segment we're doing on White Knight... Not a fucking fat lot's happened, does it? I'm pretty sure if I'm clicking that... I mean that means I should be able to go back which would imply I've missed something but the game is not loading back into that segment so uh, yeah unless I've missed something really stupid and I mean there's a very good chance that I have uh, yeah that was boring there was no enemies no scares but uh, this is about showing you this mod so you may well run into the same problem and in the next one I hope to show you how to progress unless we are completely bollocks so anyway uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one